How is it going today? New Year's. Happy 2022. Um, I just thought I'd go live because I'm just like chilling in the park. See what's happening, see what's up. See if anyone has a, a lovely question. And you can enjoy this lovely view. This is such, so nice, really. Wow. Pero bonjour, buenos dias. I hope that you can hear me okay. <laughs> when wedding to Maria. <laughs> Ojalá el año que viene. <laughs> or this year maybe. <laughs> now we're in 2023. No, 2022. Maybe, maybe in 2023 we get the wedding. Just chilling, mate. Just chilling. Chilling, still out trading the Fed. <laughs> That's what's up. But isn't it? Hey, Daniel, Bitcoin. Bitcoin is going to uh, remain range bound. Trade, trade the range, mate. Look, what I love about this place is here you have the mountains. Mountains, 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 mountains into the sea into a lovely park happy new year's boss happy new year daniel hope you're well mate i will do a 360 i'll maybe i'll take you for a little walk because um, this park is really nice <laughs> look at this anyway this is a 360 i'll do the 360 first But look at look at this bit of the park. It's really nice. I've just been like lying in this park for like two hours. Because it's really relaxing. And I'm a, was a little bit hungover <laughs> because of New Year's. Man, the, the clubs here was open till like 12, 12 a.m. 12 p.m. now, 12 p.m. So it's pretty crazy. But look at this, this is beautiful. We got the swans. Really nice. It is really nice. This is a good place to come and, and meditate. Estoy muy bien, amigo. Literally, this, this island is going to be the uh, CC Island. And this is no joke. I, th I, I think literally uh, CC will, will uh, run <laughs> over 50% of the GDP <laughs> of the island of trading. Uh, so, um, yeah, it's actually kind of funny. But this, uh, this island is really, really, really nice. And so if in 2020, if in 2022, you are thinking of like a, a place to to hey maybe you want to start afresh maybe you want to like uh, find a new place to live this is a this is a pretty perfect place and you will have friends because you will have the cc family and that is that's true da, 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 da. Restaurant, yeah, the restaurants are good here. This is Madeira. The restaurants are good here, yeah. Yeah, Australia. Yeah, I, I think Australia is uh, pretty uh, controlling, though. <laughs> I would probably want to move from there as well. <laughs> yeah, I'll show you some different views. Baby. Um, I'm only staying here for a few more days and then I'm going back to England. Ah, la, 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 la. 
This is Madeira. This is like um, near Canary Islands. So this is the beautiful thing about it. Like the weather's good all year round. Like it's just really nice. Uh, I'm still going to Mexico, but not to live. Not to live. You're awesome, brother. So are you, bro. Thank you. Look at this. Uh, let me turn the camera around. So we got all this bay. And then we, there's like old town over there. So there's uh, like an old town and then the new town is like this way. And what's crazy for me is we're in Europe. We're in, the, we're in Europe and we got this. This is like a hidden gem. You got massive, um, what do you call them? Cruise ships. You got a few cruise ships in at the moment. And then you got the mountains over there. Yes, and 0% taxes on crypto. Of course, this is very good. <laughs> so peaceful. Um, no, it won't be 40%. There's, uh, there's definitely ways to get it lower than that. Obviously, it's not tax-free. It's not like uh, you can never get 0% if you're a full-time trader in this country, but it's definitely not 40%. There's ways you can lower it. You just need to structure it well. But uh, not, no, no, no tax advice in this video. <laughs> but 100% is not 40% if you structure it well. You can get it much lower than this. Uh, below half but yeah pretty much everything you see you can walk to so there's like loads of little walks everywhere that's yeah, really cool and what I like about it is the weather like the weather is so perfect the weather's nice the food's good uh, yeah nice weather nice food nice people We've got sea, mountains, within half an hour of each other. Like, what, 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 what more do you want? Like, really, what more do you want in life? Apart from that, food, good food, good weather, good people, lots of stuff to do. I think that's pretty, uh, pretty much life set. <laughs> And like what you need to think as well is what, in 20, 2022, lots of people are probably going to continue to have to work from home, stay in home, government's trying to get more control. So you need to think, you need to prepare yourself, you need to make a hedge. Um, if you are trapped somewhere, where do you want to be trapped? Do you want to be trapped <laughs> in, in, a, uh, in a cold, boring place or do you want to at least be, I don't think they'll ever trap you here. Anyway, <laughs> this is just something to think about, I suppose. There is some police car. I'm not sure if you can hear this. Yes, also, the t that is actually a major benefit, yeah. The time zone here is the same as UK. So the daily open is the same, daily close obviously the same, all the sessions are the same. That is a major, major, major plus. It makes trading a lot easier when you're in the UK time zone, for sure because UTC is obviously the best, the major trading time zone. So if you can remain in UTC, that would have been like the problem with Mexico. Like the trading is, yeah, you're not really in a good time zone. You can do it, of course, but UTC is a little bit superior because you can trade every session very well. Hedged in life, yeah. You want to hedge in everything. You want to hedge 
in everything, not just trading. You need to make plans for every situation. Uh, very beautiful. I really like that house with a swing pool shed earlier. Are you buying it? Yes, I am. Uh, no, there is not many sandy beaches. But when you have this, look at this park. This is really nice. Yeah, this place is good because in the summer it's like 27 to 30 degrees and in the winter it's 20 to 22 degrees. So it's never, never too hot. You know, like, like you say here, Dubai. Dubai is like 45 degrees, 50 degrees sometimes. It's too hot. Yeah, it's too hot. Whereas here, it's never too hot and it's never too cold. It's just like perfect all year round. <laughs> um, so that, that's, that's really good. How many villas did you buy? <laughs> Just the, wow. The thing is, it's obviously not bought yet because um, I've literally only got here. But offers put in, etc., etc. But I'm just here for a few days to find a house, you know? Find a house, buy a house. And the reason why I wanted a bigger house I never, I never normally, well, I never have in my life, but I wanted to live in a big house. But I plan to do some things here. I'm going to have people in my house all the time. I'm going to have people coming over to trade. So it was kind of like a requirement now that I actually uh, want to get a bigger house because I want to do lots of trading events, basically, like private trading events per se. Have a few people train them up makes it easier to do it in my house no? so this is why I'm getting like a nice villa anyway or, or two <laughs> or three <laughs> see how it goes <laughs> um, it's a little bit hilly yeah well of course it's hilly there's, there's mountains everywhere <laughs> so yeah there's obviously hills here because there's a lot of mountains here Let's turn the camera. Uh, la, 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 la. It's the water okay? Yeah, the water's really hot. Yeah, I was swimming in the sea. The sea, the sea water is actually really hot, even though it's on the Atlantic. And you, most people think the Atlantic's cold, because it is. But here, the actually, actually, the sea's really warm. You can, it feels like bath water. Yeah, even the sidewalks are beautiful. Yeah, right? Yeah. It is beautiful. <laughs> uh, somebody says, Daniel, why did you block me on Twitter? <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> Pro probably you commented something I didn't... I don't know. <laughs> I, I really don't know, to be honest with you. Um, How are the prices? Mm. I would say it's a little bit cheaper. Yeah, it's cheaper than the UK, generally speaking. The real estate's actually more expensive. Um, well, I mean the top end real estate. In, in the same house in the UK, I would say it would be cheaper. So, but obviously you can get cheaper houses as well, so. I would say the real estate is, you can find cheap real estate, but the high-end real estate, I would say, is more expensive here. Uh, if I picked up the house and moved it to England, I think it's a little bit cheaper. Uh, but that's because here there's no supply. The supply is really, really, really low for, for high-end real estate, like villas, and, especially in the area. It depends what kind of area and style you want, but for a modern, modern one is uh the, yeah it's quite hard to find um so the supply <laughs> all about supply and demand isn't it in england you have quite a lot of supply and in here is not so much uh daniel personal question how tall are you uh 183 centimeters so in feet this is like six feet basically um
Uh, I'm not. No, there are no volcanoes here. Not that I know of. Uh, you can actually, you can change your citizenship if you move to Portugal. You can get a golden visa, and with the golden visa, you can, uh, you can obviously get a Portuguese passport. <laughs> At the moment, well, I'm not sh I suppose I guess I'm not 100% sure. Maybe we're uh, on holiday home, maybe live in it. We will see. I wanted to get a cake and the cake shop is closed. So that kind of sucks. They have a, I'll show you. This here is a really, really, really good cake shop. Like, really good, but it's closed. So, <laughs> I'm gonna have to find a new cake shop. So we'll go on an adventure together as we try and find a cake shop. Because I am craving a bit of cake right now. What is the primary language here? Portuguese. But pretty much everybody speaks English. Because this, this island runs on tourism. So, uh, yeah, it's kind of like a requirement to speak English. I don't speak Portuguese. Although I do, will, uh, I will learn. I will learn. Not me. Juki, yes, mate. We are looking forward to see you here, man. We well, are, honestly. Yeah, the wine is of really amazing. If you like wine, then yeah, Madeira has some of the best wine in the world. I think the main reason the things are shut down is because it's New Year's Day. I don't think, it, I mean, just because it's a, I don't even know what day it is, to be honest with you. But if it is Sunday today, I think that doesn't make any difference. It's mainly just because it's the first. Otherwise, I'm pretty sure everything's open, even on a Sunday. I don't actually know what day it is. Uh, our car's expensive here. Exactly the same as they are in the UK. But I have not bought a car here. I will buy a car, but nothing yet. Yes, this is Madeira. It's Saturday. Ah, okay. Well, yeah, in that case, the things are definitely shut because of, uh, because of the first. How many years to how many years from starting trading to achieve financial freedom in general that's obviously a really uh, it's kind of a difficult question it's kind of easy it kind of all depends on your style uh, your starting capital uh, how quickly you advance how quickly you learn you know some people some people have done really well really quickly uh, and by really quickly, I'm still mean like one year. That's crazy. That's really quick though, if you think about it, to be honest. Some people, it took them like three years. You know, we've had people in the group for like three or four years. They were losing, they were doing really bad for like two or three years. And then it clicked after four years. And I think this is, this is fine, this is normal. Uh, so how long, how long does it, you know, it's hard to say let's say how long how long how many years does it take to become on average maybe uh, I would say maybe three years if you're under three years and you're profitable doing well then you've you've beaten the av average by far three years is a realistic goal I will never ever tell anyone that it's easy because it's not trading is not easy definitely takes time definitely takes dedication it definitely takes work um, so it's not easy per se but obviously it's easy once you've once you've learned and then it's like today enter a trade in the morning I haven't taken a trade this morning to be honest with you I entered a trade uh, when we obviously swing fire pattern 52k 
and then I, I can enjoy the rest of the week. I'm in a winning trade, I'm getting paid funding, the, the trade is profitable. I planned this trade for like, literally like for three weeks. So as soon as I had the alert, take the trade, no emotions. You wanna see a really cool hotel? This is a cool hotel. This is a nice hotel. Um, but yeah, it's basically you need to, you just need to get to a level where you fully understand what you're doing. <laughs> and then, and then trading is easy per se because you know exactly what you're doing and you know exactly what to do. And then you can make money while literally doing this. Like this is, this is the crazy thing. Here I am walking around in the streets, talking to you on a live stream and making money. So that, that's how you want to be. I'm in, still in my altcoin longs, which are going really well. I know Atom is up today again. Atom has done 70% gains in two weeks, which is crazy. Uh, Bitcoin shorts, this is just getting paid funding. So it's like a safe short to be in. But that's the thing. Once you've got in your trades and it's a swing trade, you can, you can enjoy, <laughs> do whatever you want, go around your day and be like, hey, I'm making money right now. <laughs> Nice. Uh, uh, we miss you, Daniel. Yeah, I'll be back in a few days' time. I think I'm still going to do the Champions live stream tomorrow. So I'll still do the Champions live stream. But for be like back as normal. Yeah, a few days when I get back to England, get back to my office. Are there any, da, 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 da. I've been, I've been, so uh, RP Silva says, I've been a champion for nearly one year and recovered most of the capital lost by following the new, new moon boys. Yeah, that's a really, that's really good. I think a lot of people do the exact same. They, they start off, they lose so much money. And then obviously generally people lose a lot of confidence because they get wrecked. But at least they, that, that like starts them wanting to learn. And you know, then you, you put the pieces together, you start on the right track. And then yeah, one year later, if you're now coming to break even, that's really good. Because then imagine in one year's time, you're no longer break even, you're, you're up. And that's gonna feel good, trust me, that's gonna feel really good. I wanna try and show you this hotel a little bit. Zoomed out, because it's really nice. Pretty cool place. Look at that. Uh, let's go down here a second. This shop that I really like. I hope it's open. Uh, somebody says. Uh, for example, how much can you get paid in funding on a 1 million short position? Well, it's very easy to work out. Whatever, doesn't matter whether it's a 1 million position, a $100 position, or 10 million position. Uh, the funding is generally speaking 0.01% paid every eight hours. So this is 0.03% a day. You could class it as free money if it's a times one hedge and you're guaranteed that so obviously if it's a 10 million position earning 0.03 percent a day uh this is this is enough to even live on but if it's a hundred dollars then well just work out whatever the number is kind of irrelevant but just work out 0.03 percent and you'll get paid that a day uh, that is such the shop that i like is closed it's basically a like a, a, a healthy shop. They sell the fruit, fruit, nice smoothies, but it's closed. I think a lot of stuff is closed right now. I'm not sure where I'm gonna eat. Yes, everything's closed. 
Um, this is another point. Oh, I don't really like that hotel to be honest. Um, uh, somebody says, are you, are you not scared to keep so much money on the exchange? Uh, no, to be honest, no. No, I, I can't say that I am scared. I have <laughs> good security, I trust the exchange. No, I cannot honestly say I'm not really that, I'm not really scared to keep money on it. Um, Uber Eats. Yeah, that would mean I need to sign up for Uber Eats. <laughs> uh, there's no real restrictions here. Everything's pretty much open. Obviously you have to wear a mask. They're pretty strict on the masks. Like when you're indoors, you pretty much have to wear a mask. But apart from that, it's pretty open. There's, the, there's no real restrictions here, I would say. Look at this. I'm gonna try and find somewhere to eat. I might walk down into the main, well, the new town. So old town is like this way. New town is this way. So I might try and find some new town. <laughs> uh, I actually have never really gone down here. So this is kind of literally a first for me. So we can explore it together. Uh, somebody says, I'm up 50% on my trading account this holiday just by doing this swing failure pattern. I'm quite new and that's the only pattern I know. Did loads of mistakes. Being a CC member for four months, it's really boosted my confidence. Thank you. Oh, this is the thing. Four months is not a lot of time. So, uh, yeah, if you took that swing failure pattern, congratulations. Because you can guarantee, although many people are going to say, oh, yeah, the swing failure pattern was an easy trade. Yeah. Still is a confidence thing. I think a lot of people will probably got scared to take it. Look at that. Yeah, you do not need a car here for sure. You, you don't need a car per se. I mean, there's taxis, there's like Uber. Um, you can have a bike or a... Yeah, you don't need a car for sure, but I think a car is helpful. I know people that live here with no cars and they just use a taxi a lot. I prefer to have a car myself because uh, it makes... I just, I just like having a car. Uh, makes getting around a lot easier, you know, because you don't have to wait on other people. Um, but yeah, there's a whole selection of cars here. Look, there's a Tesla right there. So you've got Teslas, Renault, everything. It's just like a normal city. There's an Audi. There's a taxi. <laughs> so yeah, you can get any car you think of. And of course, what people love here, the goat, Cristiano Ronaldo. Why? Because of course, Ronaldo is from Madeira. This is, this is Cristiano Ronaldo's home city, home island. So, um, yeah, of course, it's, it's very nice. You have a lot of people that love football and I obviously love football, so this is nice as well. Um, somebody says I am curious how much your mentor has influenced you do you think it's necessary to become super rich to realise that B is not how you find happiness or do you think you can realise it sooner uh, so basically I think the question is do you need to become rich before you realize that money is not going to make you happy? Or can you realize money is not going to make you happy while before you get rich? It's an interesting question actually, isn't it? Um, and I think you can realize this before you get rich. I don't think you need to make money to realize money isn't going to make you happy. Um, 
And obviously this is actually a really interesting topic because uh, so like what I love to say is um, money is everything when you don't have it. So when you don't have money, it's everything. So you wake up, you think about you want to get rich, you want to get money, you go to sleep, you want to get money. So when you don't have money, you're like, oh, I need to pay the bills. I need to buy this. How am I going to afford the groceries? How am I going to pay my rent? You know, it's stressful. And so that's what you. This is that's what, what's like what I mean. When you don't have money, it's everything. It literally is everything. But when you do have it, then you realise it's nothing. <laughs> uh, it's kind of it's like a paradox. It's um, yeah, it's very 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 f strange. And obviously, I, I've I well, I, I cannot really say I've ever been poor per se. Uh, I'm not going to say I've ever been in poverty, but I have obviously struggled. I never come from a rich background, just normal. So, um, you know, I've, I've, I, I know what it feels like to be like, ah, oh, I can't, you know, I can't afford to go out this week or whatever because I want to do this, I want to save for something. And so to have experienced both sides, am I happier now than I was before? Well, yes. <laughs> But this is not di a direct correlation to the money. This is a correlation to being able to achieve things that I've wanted to achieve, meet goals, give back in ways I never thought I'd ever be able to give back. And of course, that just feels really good. So, um, yeah, the question, does money make you happy? Obviously, obviously, yes, to a certain extent it does. And saying no would, would be a lie, I suppose. Money makes you happy. But of course, this happy is, is temporary. It's per se, it's temporary happiness. Or it's not real happiness. It's, it's, uh, it can make you happy for a short amount of time. It can uh, let you do things you wanted. You can only do... You know, money obviously makes it only possible to do certain things. So, uh, yeah, I mean, of course, money's really good. But at the same time, it's not everything. There's more important things in life. You can have all the money in the world and, and still be upset and upset and depressed. So I think you need to work out like, what do you want to achieve? What do you want to do that will make you happy? And then money is like the side product of all of this. Look how nice this area is, by the way. This is coming into the new town. I don't know if you understood or maybe I explained really bad what I wanted to say. But I hope you kind of get a little bit of an idea from this. Um, yeah. uh, somebody says, Bef before you had financial freedom, did you have a day job while trading? Uh, was it difficult to do both at the same time? The answer is yes, I, I did have a job before trading. Or well, simultane simultaneously doing it both, and that was a job in computers. <laughs> and uh, I was very fortunate, I suppose, that I could be pretty much trading <laughs> a lot of the day, or learning to trade primarily. Let's say, learning to trade, trading while simultaneously working. Um, and I think this is really, 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 really important. Actually, it's very hard to go full-time trading when you're not at a stage where you've proven to yourself like I think it makes it's a lot easier to like um, quit your job and go full-time trading when you've been trading profitably for like one year and then you think to yourself uh, hey you know I've proved it to myself that I can do this uh, quitting your job becomes so much easier um, but if you if you like if you like see chart champions for example and you think, hey, I'm quitting my job tomorrow, I'm gonna to become a full-time trader, and you are like new, I think it's gonna be really difficult because the likelihood is you're gonna lose money in your first year of trading, though, even if you're learning from me. Just because you're learning from me doesn't mean you're gonna make money instantly. So, um, yeah, I would really recommend, I suppose, to people that wanna become a full-time trader, that do wanna quit their jobs, wait until you have 
fully absorbed, understood all the content and actually are realizing it uh, with making winning trades. You know, there, there's no need to rush into it. You don't need to rush. Although you might want to rush and quit your job, it might actually be detrimental, at least in the short term. Maybe in the long term it works out better, but in the short term it'll probably be pretty stressful because the likelihood is you will lose money when you first start to learn to trade. Um, and the second thing that I would say is if and when you go full-time trading is it's very helpful to have uh, an, another form of income. So you want to try and diversify your portfolios. Like for me, the first thing I do, the first thing I did and do still now is diversify, diversify, diversify. It's like a hedge. It's like a hedge in real life again. So just like we wouldn't only be long on Bitcoin, we want to hedge short. We also we also want to hedge our portfolios. So we're not going to be 100% in crypto. You want to have some real estate. You want to have some stocks. You want to have some land. You want to basically not be all in on one thing because, well, because that would be really stupid. Well, in my opinion, it'd be a bit silly to just be all in on one thing. So you want to diversify your portfolio. And if you can diversify a portfolio and one of those diversifications also gathers in, um, passive income, then this is really, really, really helpful as a trader because some months, especially at the beginning, uh, you, you're going to have some months that might be red because if you think about it 12 let's say weeks 52 weeks in a year let's say you could go three weeks in a row red so red week red week red week like losing weeks three losing weeks in a row this is possible um, but then of course you might go three losing weeks in a row and then six winning weeks in a row but the important thing to remember is three losing weeks in a row uh, is definitely possible as a trader and if you have no passive income it's adding to the stress likely yeah unless you've got really 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 good emotions uh, in check then it's it's probably going to be pretty stressful to your three three weeks losing but if you do have a form of passive income it really 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 helps because you can then think to yourself, hey, I've lost three weeks in a row on trading, but I still have this coming in on the side. Yeah, so I know a lot of people that are full-time traders now. And for example, they're, they're running some mining. They're getting their dividend payout from stocks. They buy a little flat on the side. And remember, it doesn't have to be expensive. You can spend like six, but I know, of course, this is expensive for some people, but you know, like uh, 60 grand on a flat, 50 grand on a flat, 50,000 pounds, and then you're getting in passive income when it's rented out every month. Uh, so that would be my first, that would be, I think, my major tip to people would be like, the first thing that you want to do is, is, is get real estate. Because real estate is, is quite a safe investment. It's never really, yeah, it's just quite a safe investment. Um, safe investment, passive income. Yeah, I, I like real estate. <laughs> uh, it's, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, of course. I, I, 50,000 euros is, is going to be expensive for the majority of people. So I don't mean to say this like it's cheap because I, I definitely, definitely see that that's a lot of money for a lot of people. But um, obviously this is the thing with trading. Trading is, the I, I would say, the best way in the world, period, to make money. So 50,000 pounds is a lot of money. But I think to a good trader, it's not. Because trading is like the one, one way that I can think of in the world. I cannot think of a better way to make money than trading. Like the amount of money that you can make for the, for like the, for like the time and effort required to the, re to the reward 
I cannot think of another thing in the world that can make you so much money. And I have several businesses, so I have more than one business. And um, I'm investing in startups, you know, I'm, I'm uh, you know, I never talk about this on stream or anything, but I you know I'm investing in startups and investing in other projects. <laughs> but still, trading is 100% the easiest money you can make. <laughs> the other things are nice hedges, they're nice things to do. Again, adding to the portfolio, increasing the portfolio. But um, yeah, trading, there's, there's nothing else like it. Nothing else like it. When you can trade well, it literally is like a, like a money machine. <laughs> you, you can print money whenever you want. Yeah? When it trades, yeah, I mean, it's absolutely mental. It really is. Selling, somebody says selling drugs. <laughs> trading is a lot better, easier to make money than selling drugs. <laughs> <laughs> that is 100% because one is one is highly illegal and the risk is if you get caught you go to prison and in crypto there is uh, there is no prison risk um, Daniel you are my idol in life I'm really enjoying this stream thank you I'm happy I'm happy to read that Oops. sorry um, should we save up in cash for real estate or use leverage? <laughs> uh, well, you can obviously leverage with mortgages. Uh, this, um, the, not, not, not financial advice, you need to do your own ideas and thoughts of this. But of course, you could leverage yourself with, with a, the use of a, a loan or a mortgage. So not leverage in trading per se, but leverage in borrowing money to buy real estate. Okay. <laughs> I would never really recommend it, I suppose, but you could get loans out and trade the loans, but of course this is kind of risky because if it fails, why well, don't you're kind of screwed. Uh, yeah, I'm really hungry now. Uh, what shall I eat today? Try to find a nice steakhouse, maybe. How's the sound, by the way? Can you hear me all all right? The sound is good. Even with like all the cars and stuff coming past, you can still hear me all right. Oh, that's really good. I'm happy about that. <laughs> I think, I think personally for any trader, the proudest moment, not just for a trader I think, but I think the proudest moment that you can get as a person when you've been successful, and this was for me anyway, is telling your parents, hey, you don't need to work anymore, <laughs> uh, you can retire, you can, you can uh, live the good life. <laughs> That, I think, is 100% the best achievement possible. Because, yeah, that, 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 that feels really good. <laughs> um, so yeah, that, in my opinion, is something you cannot beat. You cannot beat that. Uh, yeah, really, that's, that's nice. Um, and I can't remember what the other question was that I saw there. Yeah, it's a big yeah, I think that's the number one achievement. Telling your parents they can retire. <laughs> Unless your parents really, really love their job. And then... Uh, <laughs> then they might not want to retire. Because... Yeah, that, that's, that's... Some people actually do love their jobs. <laughs> so, um, yeah. My mum was a teacher. Well, like a trading trading assistant <laughs> teaching assistant for like uh, special special needs kids so like kids with um, uh, learning difficulties uh, problems like this and when I told her she can retire she doesn't need to work she, she didn't want to go uh, this guy was looking at me like oh my god he's doing <laughs> is she speaking to the camera um, yeah she didn't she didn't actually want to like fully quit her job because she, she she wanted to stay with the child, um, 
that she was helping and she she didn't want to abandon the kids <laughs> uh, so yeah uh, yeah that was that was uh, obviously it still felt really good and there was her choice and I understood that she would still wanted to help the kids uh, but I think it also removed a lot of like pressure because she knows well she, she, she obviously does not work full-time part-time but she knows at any point she could leave and do whatever she wanted and uh, she doesn't have to worry at all um, but yeah so maybe you have a crazy parent like me that doesn't want to quit even though you can or maybe you have a parent that absolutely hates their job <laughs> and uh, would love to be told they can, they can quit. <laughs> um, but yeah, and obviously, let's see what else we have. Uh, when was the point? <clears throat> yeah, do you wanna, actually, do you wanna know something that really, really, I find really funny? That, oh my God. Did you who, who, write a comment right now if you saw that video from from Carl, which was the most cringiest thing I've seen in my in a long time, with him buying his uh, himself a Bugatti and then doing a video of of his parents' reaction. Who, who has seen that video? Let, let, let me know in the comments because if nobody's seen it, then I won't I won't give you my opinion. But if you have seen it, then I'll give you my opinion. So some people have and some people don't. I'll give you a quick overview. But uh, basically, he bought himself a Bugatti. Fair enough. And um, he has done a video reaction of his, of like, you know how most people would buy like a really good car for their parents and say, hey, I've bought you a car. It doesn't even have to be a good car. But just say to your parent, hey, I've bought you a car. Uh, and then do a reaction video, I suppose of recording it even though i wouldn't do that i think it's a bit cringy to record yourself a video of buying your parents stuff i wouldn't do that but nevertheless hey uh, i can kind of see I, I suppose at least why people are doing that um but basically he bought himself a car and then records a video of his parents reaction of saying hey i've bought myself this car and they're like blindfolded and they take off the blindfold and they're like looking at this car and it's almost like, uh, okay, so have you bought this car for us or, or what's happening? And honestly, it just is the most cringe thing. I've seen it so long <laughs> because his parents are just like, what? <laughs> why, why are you making us be in your video of you buying yourself a car? Anyway, that, but what I was gonna say with this is, this is what I don't understand yet, that people, People will flex hard on social media while their parents are still like slaving away in a job. They're, they are, they are, they are, you know, still struggling. And I think personally that there, you should never, 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 never be flexing on social media when your family is still struggling. Like you have to look you have to look after your family first no and so imagine that like your your son is flexing on social media and you're still working a nine to five job i don't know like that happens a lot though that have that honestly that happens more than you will think people make money and instead of helping out their family they will they will go and buy expensive cars expensive houses for themselves and for me personally, I, I really just don't really understand this. Oh my, there's a lot of people here. Yeah, for me this is just like ultra weird. Um, you know, this is where we are right now. I think this is like the cleanup from, uh, from uh, New Year's. Imagine that they had a lot of cleaning to do. Yeah, look at this now. So this is like the new town, I would say. Uh, lots of people, yeah, this is true. They become selfish, it's, uh, yeah. And I'm not saying this about one person in particular, by the way, I'm just saying this in general. It happens a lot, lot more than what you would think. People make money and then instead of looking after the people they care about, they, uh, 
they, they, they go and buy uh, their cars to flex on social media. And I think that's really sad. Wow, look at that view. Wow. Wow, that's really nice. This, this, this place kind of reminds me of LA, where you got like the mountains and then the, the city on the below. And like the best houses are up there in the mountains for sure. I smell marijuana. <laughs> this guy's smoking, yeah, he's smoking. We've got basketball courts coming on here. Imagine it, like playing some basketball with this view. And a little doggy, hello. <laughs> Get this little dog. <laughs> uh, he's cute. <laughs> wow, that dog is really cute. I love dogs. <laughs> you see him? See if he comes up to us. Hello. Hello, little doggy. <laughs> I love dogs. Here we go. This is the. Right, I need to get something to eat. What is the time? I don't know what the time is. Maybe we go here. I have no idea what type of food this is, but it's got a nice view. Uh, oh, yeah, so it's nearly six o'clock, so yeah, I should eat. Try and see if there's a nice seat around here then. Looks like it's all taken away. Yeah, reservation. Yeah, the, the, the last table is reserved. Damn. See what else there is around the corner then. Mission find a restaurant. Mission, mission find a restaurant or mission find Maria 2.0. <laughs> or both. Mm -hmm. Oh, here we go, another restaurant. Oh, this one looks quite nice. Let's see. It's a table. Sushi. What should we get? Should we get some sushi? So this is the prices. Three, three euros for some sushi. Or some six euros. So the prices are pretty good, I would say. You can see here. I think I'm gonna to go to the Italian next door though. I've eaten in this, I've actually eaten in this one the last time I was in this island. Which was a little, a few months ago. It's nice. Uh, I think there's going to be a table available soon. I want to wait for a table with a view, you know? And it looks like these people are going. Oh, thank you for the for the sub sub step, mate. I'm just gonna wait for a table, I think, in the uh, in for the Italian. Ah. I'll do some Q and A while we wait. Now, where am I? In Madeira. This Italian is really good. I want to eat here. Um, you know, somebody says, do you want to move to another country to live or stay? Because you're... I stayed in England for a lot longer than what I kind of wanted to because of my family. <laughs> um, but now, yeah, I'm, I'm, well, everybody's ready 
if I if I move. So yeah, I've stayed in England for like five years longer than what I originally wanted to. To be honest with you, because of my family. But now they're good. I'm good. Everybody's good, and they are okay if I if I go. All right, I'm gonna get this tape. I think they forgot. Oh, they for you forgot. They've forgotten their phone right here. Oh my god. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, hello. Hello. I think you forgot your phone. No, no. This oh. is from the. Um, oh. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> hello. 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 Oh, I don't know what this is. But there you go. I will take this table. I thought they left behind their phone. It looks like it looks like a mobile phone, though. No? <laughs> um, yeah, I, I don't know why they. Uh... Oh, here comes the waiter. Let's see. Hello. How are you? Uh, one person? Uh, yeah, just one, yeah. I, I, you can, I'll have this table on its own if you want, and then you can have two tables. Yeah, 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 it's fine. Nice table with a view. That is a nice view to have some dinner. Menu, one menu? Uh, yeah, please. All right then, we'll get the menu and we'll see what to eat. Wow, man, that's so, this is so nice. <laughs> that is really nice. We got the sunset. I think you can maybe see. Can you see the sun? Behind the building, I think. Are you going to... Uh, I'm actually going to England in a few days. <laughs> you live like a normal guy. I am a normal guy. I'm just a normal guy. Nothing special. Nothing different. Just normal. So that's why I'm like a normal guy. <laughs> um... I'm so happy for you, Daniel. You deserve everything and massive respect for all you have done. I just joined Chart Champions yesterday. Well, what a start. No better way to start 2022 than that. So well done, my friends. I wish you well. I've never been to England, but this is not England. <laughs> this is not England. Uh, you, you do not get a view like this in England. With, well, we're not, with this, not with this weather in December. <laughs> uh, hello Daniel, I'm a beginner and I decided to join Chart Champions. I have a question. Is 30% of my wallet a month possible when you finish learning basic trading and strategies? Uh, so basically the question is, once he's learned everything, the question is basically once he's learned all the materials, can he make realistically 30% a month? Uh, in my opinion, would be yes. 
because 30% a month is basically 1% a day. Um, but I don't think it really works out of 1% a day because you're going to get some days where you win 5%, some days where you lose 3%, lose 6%, win 8%. Oh, one second. Thank you. Thank you. So yes, yeah, it's, it's it's not just like one um, percent a day, really. I don't think many people are going to do that. But can you make thirty percent in a month? Yeah, I, I think this is. I would. I personally, I know people are going to like be like. Eh, no, no. I think it's realistic, and not overly difficult when you're a good trader to make thirty percent a month, which is crazy when you think about that. Thirty percent a month is mental when you actually think about the numbers <laughs> but this is what i'm telling you trading is crazy i've never seen anything else in the world that can make you that amount of money so yeah uh anyway then what are we gonna eat let's have a look i'm gonna have some pasta uh lasagna bolognese Yeah, I want to have a bolognese, I think. Uh, no, do they not even... Pizza, pasta, lasagna, 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 and bolognese. Spaghetti bolognese, this is what I'm going to have. <laughs> Spaghetti bolognese. I love spaghetti bolognese. And to start, bola de caco. Traditional bread from Madeira. Yeah, we're going to start with some bola de caco. For main, we're going to have spaghetti bolognese. And to drink, there is no drinks. Uh, I do not think I'm going to have a beer today because I drank way too much yesterday <laughs> and I don't want to get back on it. So I'm not going to have a beer. Could have a glass of wine. Let's see if they do any uh, Madeira drink. Orange juice. <laughs> you can't hate on bolognese. I love spaghetti bolognese, literally. I, I honestly love spaghetti bolognese and I haven't had any pasta since I've been here. <laughs> I'm going for spaghetti bolognese, for sure. Spaghetti bolognese with this view. Ah, that's really relaxing. Great Parmesan cheese on top. <laughs> yeah, I, I'll, I'll make sure they got the Parmesan. <laughs> Ready for tax season? Yeah, my, my tax bill is going to be like enough to fund the whole, to fund the small country. Uh, but I'm ready for the taxes. Got to pay your taxes. Because that's life. Uh, 
Hey Daniel, you have achieved a lot in your life. Do you still have any goals for 2022? Yes, I do have a lot of goals still for 2022 and onwards because some of the things I want to do are going to take longer than one year for sure. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I'm a really, really, uh, what's the word, um, motivated, is that the right word? I'm really motivated, I'm really uh, goal orientated, but yeah, I want to do more, <laughs> so I, I cannot stop here. Um, so yeah, do I still have any goals for 2022? 100% yes, for sure. Um, for your UK audience, what are taxes on trading like for UK expats in Madeira? In UK, you pay about four times. So obviously, if, really, if you're trading in England, you would probably need us under a private company because otherwise, you're going to pay income tax obviously at forty-five percent, which is really high. Um, but still, it's not great to be honest with you. Even this method, because extracting that money is. Um, taxable as well. Yeah, oh, one second, I think. Yeah. I think maybe he's going to take my order. Um, ah, thank you. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can take it. I'm, I'm ready to order if you want. Sure. Uh, I have the uh, prosciutto bolognese <laughs> and um, bola de caco <laughs> and uh, just the orange juice. <laughs> thank you very much. Oh my, you know what he's given me here? This is this is a shot. This is a shot of poncha. <laughs> this is not good. I'm not sure I really wanted this shot, but thank you any, anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, this is definitely poncha. <laughs> Yeah, great. Oh, these things are amazing. This is amazing. So this is like, I don't even know how to describe this. But basically, I don't know how I'm gonna record this either. If I put it up against the poncho, is my phone gonna fall because it's too heavy? I don't get it. that's a good use of the poncho. So basically you get this, you take this out of its like shell, I don't know whether shell is the right word here. But you take it out of its stuff. <laughs> so you like peel off the skin, I suppose. And then you get just this. Mm. And that tastes really good. Everyone's looking like, why is this guy live streaming? Yeah, these things are really taste nice. Somebody says, easier to peel with your teeth. Should we try it? I'm not sure about this. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure about that. Huh. Madeira is not, yeah, Madeira has to be. We still got the sun, just about. But my headphones are running out of battery. I just had the 20% warning. We just had a leaf land on the table. No, I don't think it's a fruit. I, I, I would say maybe it's some type of bean. Uh, temperature, I would say, 18, maybe, maybe 18 degrees.
Dan, you'll bite an opening and then pop them into your mouth. All right, I'll give it a go. Let's try it again. Mm -hmm. Bite a hole. Hmm, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that works. <laughs> ASMR food session. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, man. This, so you can see a bit more of the view. Yeah, that's a, that's nice, isn't it? And this over here. How about that then? So what's the bad in? Uh, no, the, 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 the internet's fine. It's because I accidentally quit. What? We literally just got like 200 people in here. Yeah, if anybody has any other questions, ask away. Um, this is a flamingo. This is flamingo. And this is a nice sunset, yes. Daniel, how long did it take you to become profitable? Uh, it was actually more towards two years, one and a half to two years. Before I started to do well. How many screens am I using while trading? Two. I don't think you need more than two monitors. But then obviously I have my phone. If that counts as a third screen, then I have three. But just two monitors. And it says, Daniel, please show the beam. By this yellow thing. What's your thoughts on Al Yeah, I'm not really interested in uh, algorithmic bot. Uh, yeah. Not at the moment, anyway. I, I'm not really that into bots. I like doing it myself. I, I trade because I love it. So I don't see the point in getting a bot because then I'm not doing anything and I don't enjoy bots. <laughs> so, um, Yeah, it's pointless for me to do a bot because I enjoy the actual process of trading. And if I was to have a bot, then I have no process of actually trading. Um, the sound probably isn't too clear because of because I'm using headphones. These are just beans. I'm waiting for the meal. I've got a spaghetti bolognese coming. <laughs> can you, you can hear the ocean, can you? Yeah, this is nice. The ocean is literally right there. Yeah, I really want to go for a swim. I've actually got my swimming shorts on, so I literally could just jump in the water after I finish eating. I might do that actually. I'll probably do that. I'll, I'll, I'll have my shot of poncho and I'll go for a swim. <laughs> because why not? It's lovely. Ah, 
Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. I think this is... <laughs> I think everyone's like, why? I don't think people are used to people live stream. I guess it isn't normal. <laughs> he was like, he probably thought, who is he talking to? Hi, that's really good. Will I be switching football teams? Of who I support, no. But maybe I will support a team, a Portuguese team as well. Uh, obviously, one of the teams here is in the top division. So I'd get to see Sporting Lisbon. Maybe they'd be my favourite team. Yeah, probably Sporting Lisbon would be my favourite team. Or support the local team here. I prefer Sporting and than Benfica. <laughs> to get another drink because this one's going to go quick. Oh wow, that is a really big comment. Uh, the that, that comment went too quick by the way, I couldn't read it all because another was going uh, do you want to stay in England? No, I don't really enjoy, I don't actually like England very much. I'm not actually a fan of England, even though that's my country. I don't really like it that much. Not to live. It's nice. It has its pros, it has its cons, but for me, too many cons. <laughs> My taste in music is good. <laughs> if you like reggaeton, si. Dale, dale, dale. La combi completa. Uh, somebody, yeah, I mean. Yeah, the food, the food isn't great in the UK, that's true. The food isn't great, uh, the weather isn't great, <laughs> the government isn't great, the taxes aren't great. <laughs> uh, England is not great. <laughs> I'm sorry for the people that love England. <laughs> um, but you can probably agree with me even if you're English. Because everything I said is pretty much true. Yeah, yeah, Daniel said, can't wait to can't wait to move. Yeah, mate, come out here. This is this is the place. This is the new crypto island. If you're in crypto, you've got to come here because you're gonna absolutely love it. Trust me, come here for a holiday. Come here for like one week. And the thing is, the flights here are cheap. Fifty euros. Uh, you can come here for fifty euros for sure. So it's not expensive. You can even stay in a hostel. What ten dollars a night maybe. So you, you could probably come here for a week and uh, 500 euros maybe, yeah. Um, maybe less, I don't know. Four or 500 euros maybe you can do it and for a week. And I think you would be like, right, I want to live here. Because I think this is a place that you come here and then you're like, wow, this has everything. And you're not going to want to leave. <laughs> this is what happened to me anyway. And it actually happened to so many people. So many people that I speak to, they all say the same. All of them, all of them say the same. They come here once, and they want to live here for, for real. Um, yeah. I mean, in Europe, it has basically basically one of the best climates in Europe, in the world actually. In the world, you you, you type in like to Google countries with the best temperature 
all year round. This is in the top three for sure. Uh, yeah, for sure this is in the top three of like every list. And yeah, only Madeira. Not mainland Portugal's really different. And it's also extremely safe. Yes, it is very, very, very safe. Casa is to casa. Yes, I have been to Greece and I have been to some Greek islands. Yes, I do like Greece. I do like Greece for sure. But I would not live in Greece. I think Greece is nice for a holiday. But personally, I wouldn't want to live in Greece. Taxes here are good, to be fair. They're not zero, but they're good. Uh, somebody said, have you ever gone to the USA? Yes, I have gone to the USA. But I'm also not a fan, really, of North America. <laughs> I don't really like extremely westernized places. That's what I like about here. It's not too... It's Europe, but it's not... No, it just has a nice feel. Turkey is also nice. Turkey is also really nice. But again, I, I wouldn't want to live in Turkey. It's, it would be nice to go for like a holiday, spend some time there. But for me personally, it's not Turkey. I wouldn't want to live. Oh, look, we got a little, uh, got a little boat going by. You see the boat? Yes, this is one of the best places for family. If you have a family and you are in the... Yeah, this is an, an amazing place to have kids, for sure. Like if you have kids, I think you would come here for... <laughs> yeah, this is when sailing. You are right, when sailing, mate? Just uh, chilling on the boat. And the internet speed here is amazing. The internet here is very, very, very quick. I need to re I really need to, this is the weird thing about this, that I cannot see how much battery I have. And I know when I go out of this to check how much battery the stream is gonna like end. Is there not a way that I can see this well in the app? I'm back. I don't know why that is. You, as soon as you quit the app, the stream ends. It's really annoying. Now I needed to check my battery, so I didn't know how much battery I had left. Oh, are my, are my earpods dead? Let me see. I'm not sure. Maybe you are correct. Maybe the sound has died from my AirPods. That is possible. Sound is good. Eh? Wait, if I need to charge them, I can charge them. How long do you need to live out here to pay Portuguese tax? Well, it could be instantly if you cut your ties from your current country and come here. It could be as quick as you want, I suppose. As well, as long as you're not in the tax bracket. When Maybe when your next tax year ends, which in England is obviously April. 
Uh, then you could move out May or April or now. <laughs> and then once you leave, once you spend the most amount of your time here, you can become a, become a Portuguese tax citizen, resident. Tell us more about visualization, please. I'm not sure what you mean. What, what, what do you mean, visualization? I don't really understand that question. Did I receive your Christmas present? Yeah, I know some people sent some things to me, and I, ha I must admit I've not actually been able to uh, receive them yet. Yeah, they're, they're probably in the holdings. Um, so yeah, the answer is no, I haven't actually been able to get to it yet. Yeah, it's just a holiday at the moment. I'm out here for a few more days and then go back to it. Visualize what you want. I think like one of the best things to do is just write down what you want, like, you know, it might sound cliche, but really, write that, oh, here comes my food. I, I'll just pause for a second while the food comes. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. Do you want some black pepper? Uh, no, it's okay, no. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. There we go. Bon appetit. We got the bola de caco, which is this. Really, really, really nice. Bolanesa. Todo listo. You, you, you might need me to... Um, ah, yeah, I forgot to ask for the parmesan. Uh, I can do that later. Uh, I don't want to... I don't want to... I don't want to... Um, I don't want to uh, ask this waiter. I don't want to disturb him. It was my bad. Although I do need some parmesan, actually. Yeah, I'm going to need to get his attention. <laughs> it's really awkward when I'm live streaming. <laughs> because I think he's like, I think he, he doesn't want to speak because he doesn't want to be on the stream. Oh, man. But I need to try and get his attention because, yeah, I do need some cheese with this. Is it better than Barcelona? Yes. And I love Barcelona. I'm a big fan of Barcelona. I love Barcelona. I have a house in Barcelona, but still, um, this is better than Barcelona. Yes, I do know. I need, I need to learn Portuguese. I will learn Portuguese. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna eat this, I think, with no, um, with no Parmesan. It doesn't matter. I don't need, I don't need any palms up. Yeah, I might need to end the stream because you probably don't want to hear me eat anything. <laughs> um, maybe you can listen to the waves. Maybe I'll put it out of the earphones. really good nice and tasty what I love to do is um, 
is 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 have the the bread with the the dog on it is. Mm-hmm. This is really good. Yeah, this is this is a nice spaghetti bolognese. Although it does it doesn't actually beat my mum's. But I think my mum does the best spaghetti bolognese. I really love her her spaghetti bolognese. <laughs> For, for all of you watching, what is your favorite food? If you could pick one one food, actually do, yeah, we'll start with favorite. What is your favorite food? I'm interested to know what people's, what would be your number one, number one. I reckon there'll be a lot of sushi. Pizza. Mexican, yes, Thai. Mm. Indian. <laughs> Pot noodles. <laughs> I, I, I love actually, to be fair, I think I would say also Mexican. Mexican is so good. But I love Chinese, Italian. I let, basically, I love everything actually. Apart, I'm not a massive fan of seafood though. That's the one thing that I'm not a massive fan of, seafood. Yeah, it's very hard to choose one food. <laughs> that is true. But I, I, I think I would choose Mexican. Why do people think this is Rangers top? This is not Rangers. This is this is um, Flamengo de, uh, from Brazil. This is a Brazilian team. I bought this when I was in Brazil. You know, I was in I was in the club yesterday till I was with Igor and Stefan. So we were we were the three of us for New Year's, and um, yeah, the club was open till twelve, which is insane. When you yeah, the club was open till twelve, and I I left at like about eight. 8 a.m. <laughs> and so then I woke up at, I can't even remember. But it was a crazy night. It was really crazy actually. Somebody says, who is Stefan? Stefan is just a Chart Champions member. Just, um, if, you're, if you're in the group, you've probably seen him posting. But, um, yeah, he's not a coach or anything. But this is the cool thing. If if you if you do come to um, if you do come to Madeira, for sure we'll do like lots of chart champions, like nights out, uh, meetups, like just like hanging out and like yeah, like you can make you like just make friends. <laughs> Stefan is the CC bodyguard. Yeah, he's tall. He's big. <laughs>
yeah, that, that's what I really like about Madeira as well. That I really know that this is going to be a traders traders island. I know it. I, I think we're going to get a lot of traders out here because it just makes so much sense as a trader to live here, from the taxes to the lifestyle. Right. I, I I think a few years there'll be so many traders here. And that's what I mean. We, we'll be able to buy the island, essentially, because we'll be running... The GDP of this island, I think, is 6 billion. So for sure, we can, um, we can literally be beating the GDP of this island. The taxes obviously depend. You, you really need to go to a tax advisor because you can, you can structure your taxes here so they are relatively low. Um, for traders, this is for traders. If you, if you work here, then it's probably gonna be different. But this is the thing, I'm only thinking about traders. If you're a trader, you can get relatively low taxes, yeah? I have this like whole family like no, uh, <laughs> no, just watching me. Um, it's getting a bit dark now, isn't it? Am I still doing one-on-one -on -one coaching? Not really. No, I don't really do one-on-one -on -one coaching anymore, to be honest with you. Um, Mike and Victor do a lot of one-on-one -on -one coaching. I don't really because of my voice. Um, like you, you, you couldn't pay me an amount of money to do the one-on-one -on -one coaching at the moment. Not worth it. And it's a shame, yeah? Because I used to absolutely love doing the one-on-ones the because you get to like have a really nice connection with the person you're teaching. But my voice basically hurts too much. To do the one-on-one -on -one coaching like regularly. Yeah, Eagle will probably do one-on-one -on -one coaching. Uh, I know in Asia, some good, uh, another good country um, so the question is, in Asia, which country do you recommend for traders besides Malaysia? I, I believe Singapore is also a very good trade country for traders because of the um, territorial tax systems. So basically any money that you earn outside of the country is not taxable. So obviously as a trader, this is really perfect. There is a lot of traders living in Thailand, there is, yeah. I'm, I'm not sure about their taxes though. I wouldn't have thought their taxes are great in Thailand, to be honest. Did I get smashed last night? Yeah, I got really drunk last night, <laughs> to be honest, yeah. Yeah, I've not researched Thailand taxes because it's not really a place 
I've been to Thailand on holiday, but I, I again I wouldn't want to live in Thailand to be honest. I'm really full. Hello. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, how could so somebody says how can you predict the days of price action uh, from the initial balance and the, the the best way is actually from the previous day so how was the previous day how was the previous day what was the previous day type way of closed that previous day in relation to that day I think my airports have just died airports 10 percent i think my airports are literally about to die um yeah you basically have to go from the previous day and then how that day you know the initial balance is opening up in context to the previous day is how you can predict it uh, i'm not sure if you can still hear me because i had like the, the the sound go off to say that this is dying We can still hear you. Okay, good. I think it's about to die very shortly. Um, <clears throat> the other question is, Daniel, do you fly economy or first class? Um, and that depends on the flight, uh, or like the, the route. For example, if I'm going to Mexico, which I'm going to next month, I will fly... Uh, business class why because um, there's no way that I can go on a <laughs> like a nine hour flight and <laughs> not lie down basically so yeah I, I personally think that the upgrade to, to business class is really worth it um, because it's just a really big upgrade from economy. Um, and I would try and go first class, but the problem with first class is it sells out really quickly. Um, so let's say on a, on a standard flight, you have, yeah, let's just make up some numbers. You have a thousand economy seats, and then you have, let's say, 50 first class seats, and then you have five, no, sorry, you have a thousand economy seats, you have, let's say, 50 business class seats, and then let's say you have five first class seats. So I would try and go first class, but the problem is it sells out really quickly. Um, so it's, it's hard to go first class, even if you have the money, because the space is limited. And so unless you get in early on a popular flight, this is, then it's kind of hard to go first class because it sells out, uh, sells out really quick. You can get taxes here to about 15% on crypto. Do your own research, but you can get it 15%. Maybe lower, to be honest. But 15% is really easy. <laughs> Somebody says, why, why can I not go into trade? If I exit this, if I exit the app, if I exit Twitch to go into Trading View, the stream ends. It's like a really annoying thing of this app, actually, that you cannot leave the, the app when you're streaming.
Yeah, this is iPhone. Maybe on Android that doesn't happen. <laughs> but iPhone, it does. Well, I'm really full now. I really want to finish this, but I'm very full. Whew. No dessert for me today, no. Maybe later, but not after, directly after this. Could I help you? I would rate this meal a mm, 7 out of 10. No. No. Only a 7, yes. To be honest, it did lack cheese, and that was my own fault, to be fair, because I didn't ask for it. But that would be the reason. <laughs> oh my. Can we see the sunset? Yeah, the sunset is basically go going. That's the view that we got right now. Yeah, it's very nice here. All right, I need to get my wallet in a second. Hopefully nobody sees my car details. I will give the man a nice tip because he has given me a nice meal. Ah, da -da 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 -da. There we go, that'll be nice. Now I just need to wait for him to come for the film. I am really full. Yeah, I think maybe the waves are a little bit too big now <laughs> for a swim.
Uh, I am ready for Mexico, yes. I am looking forward to it. How does one become a coach? Actually, everybody that works for Chart Champions was originally a member. So I suppose the only way that you can work for me <laughs> is if you first learn from me. Which I like that. I really like that. Um, what's the word? Uh, um, DNI? Uh, ID? No. DNI. IDN. <laughs> DNA. <laughs> well, I was thinking of it in so many other languages. Um, I really like the DNA of, of like chart champions. Or well, how I run all of my businesses actually. Um, and that is I only employ people um, for chart champions. I would only employ people that were once in the group. In real life, only people that I know as a friend. Um, and I like this. And because I think business owners can relate here for sure. The, the, one of the hardest things about being a business owner and running a business is, is finding good employees. That's really, 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 really hard. Um, because a lot of people, even if you pay them good salaries, a lot of people still, they don't actually care about the business, about the running of the company. They don't care. They want their paycheck and they want to go home. So it's, it's really, 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 really hard for a business owner to actually find employees that really are motivated, that really, really, really want to see um, success. Yeah, I think this is really hard. And I've found everybody that I work with is really motivated and is really, really want to be successful. And I think it's just because of the way that I find the people, uh, the selection that we go through, um, yeah, it makes a massive, 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 massive difference. And I think you can like see this, no? I mean, obviously none of you really know about my other businesses, but Chart Champions, uh, you can see it for yourself. Like even from the customer service to the main coaches, everybody that works there is, um, really loves their job to be fair. I think you can ask them and I think they will tell you the same, that they love their job. They're really, really grateful to have a job. And uh, they go beyond and above what they need to do and what's expected of them. Why? Because they actually love it. <laughs> it's like George. Like, I love George. This guy is a machine, uh, literally a machine when it comes to trading and doing the updates and doing the questions. Oh my, the guy, I, th I thought I had a lot of patience and he has, uh, uh, all of the trading assistants actually have insane amount of patience. Um, really big patience. Um, <laughs> but also like George, uh, he has been ill. He, uh, I didn't actually realize this because I've been away, but he has been ill and still doing the trading updates. I'm like, you need to take a break, mate. <laughs> you need to take some rest. And he's still doing the trading updates. Um, why? Because he's a, he's a machine. <laughs> He doesn't need to be doing them. Um, he can take a break, <laughs> but he wants to do them. And then it's like, I'm not gonna, uh, you know, I can't stop you doing the updates, but uh, yeah, the guy is literally a machine. But that's like, that's something really good, yeah. When, when you're an employer and you see someone doing that, wow, that is really, 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 um, that, that's really amazing, yeah. Um, you have to look after these people. This is one thing that I will say. You have to look. You have to look after the people that do well for you, <laughs> um, for sure. Uh, but yeah, he's incredible. But I think everybody that, that is in our team is incredible. To be honest, everybody. Um, yeah, George is a legend. Yeah, they, they, a lot of people love him, and why? Because he has he has the ethics. He has everything you want to be in like a trading perspective. Like he's got it. 
and he's a really good trader as like he is a really really good trader profitable successful trader and then he's a good person and then he's like the most hard-working guy you're ever gonna see like really 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 amazingly hard-working and um, yeah like obviously I wish him millions of success so much success because he deserves it man <laughs> deserves it so much um, who is George? <laughs> George is, is the trading assistant in the group. He's active in the contenders and the champion section regularly. Uh, good people, hard, yes, it's, it's really hard to find good people. But one interesting statistic is everybody that's worked for us has never, we've never lost a single employee. Everybody, everybody that we've employed is still with us today, which is good. I, it's not often you're gonna find a business that has never lost an employee. Obviously it happens, but it's not that often. We have over now 25 employees, so we have a lot of people. And to not have lost anybody, I'm pretty happy with this. <laughs> um, How does one get a job in China? Yeah, basically the only way when, if we get a space for a job, we will only advertise within the group. So basically you have to be a, I don't know, kind of the end, yeah, you, you would have to be a member to get a job for us. Because we only, we only put up our adverts within the group. <clears throat> What's your favorite kind of food? Mexicano. Mexican. The light here is really good actually. I think the sunset is gone now. It's getting a, it's getting a little bit chilly. I really want to pay this bill and I think the waiter is a bit scared to come over because of a live stream. Oh, come on, man, please. I need the bill. I might go up and pay for it. Is that voice? I think I'm going to be sat here for like another 10 minutes. Yes, I am going to do the Champions live stream. Yeah, I think I'm going to go up and pay for this bill because I'm pretty sure he's not going to come to this. <coughs> This table. I just want to test something before I go and I want to know the sounds without the ear pods. So let me just take these out and look and let me I want you to tell me how different the sound is when I take this out when it goes through the phone. So now I think that the sound is going through the phone. So the question is how much different is the sound? Does it sound really bad? Does it sound good, average, the worse, better? Exactly the same. <laughs> okay, so it's exactly the same. I think maybe that, I think maybe then my sound was not working on the earphones. I guess if I put, so if I put this back here, it should sound different now, no? In theory, it should sound different because now I'm speaking really far away. Now I'm speaking really far away. So now it, now the, now the sound is wor a lot worse, no? Because you will hardly be able to hear me.
Right. Okay, that's that's good to know. At least the sound is okay. Um, yeah, I, I think I might wrap the stream. <clears throat> I think I'm going to need to go up and pay as well because I, I'm pretty sure this guy's not going to come to the table. <laughs> now, literally after this, I'm going to go home and sleep. I'm really, really tired. So yeah, it's for me, an early night, what time is it? Like maybe six or seven? I'm literally going to go home and sleep. <laughs> I'm very, very, very tired after last night. But this, this is what I love. Whatever time it is, I really don't know what time it is. But I like to still be out, shorts, t-shirt, flip-flops. Boom! <laughs> we got the flip-flops on. We got the shorts. The t-shirt. The view. Night. And it's still lovely and warm. Yeah, seven o'clock basically. And that's the cool thing about this island. Tomorrow is the champion stream, yes. Yeah, this is what happens when you party till 8 a.m. You get very tired early. <laughs> um, so yeah, I guess I'll wrap it up here. I'll just say thank you ever so much, everybody. It was a nice evening. Thank you for joining me. Uh, yeah, that, that's funny, isn't it? Today, I can say, hey, I was at a table with, I was at a table for two with 270 people we had 270 people today <laughs> crowded around our, our table for two <laughs> uh, that's really nice so yeah thank you everybody for joining me it was uh, it was it was fun I had a good time uh, hopefully you enjoyed what you saw with the island <laughs> the bruschetti Maybe you could taste it through the through the screen. Mwah, 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 mwah. It's a very nice pasta. <laughs> and um, yeah, had a good time. So I suppose I will say this. Thank you ever so much. Have a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant evening. Remember this. If you want to come to the island, do it. <laughs> Don't think about it. Do it. Fall in love. Move and uh have a good 2022 whatever you do have a good 2022 and just know it's going to be better than the last every year gets better and 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 better everything always gets better so um yeah have a good one cc pool send their regards send their love and that's me signing out cheers everybody and goodbye